Are you needing to do screen printing, but you're uncertain about what mesh count you should use, or you're just not even sure what that means? Well, in this video, we'll give you all the details on wire mesh screen printing, so stick around. Hey there, my name's Andrew Kotlar, and I think we can agree that screen printing mesh plays an integral role in everyday life, whether it's used to produce circuit boards and phones or, or logos on various products. To deliver those quality products though, screen printing designers must determine the best specifications to transfer designs. But what mesh count should I be using? Well, WS Tyler has delivered premium stainless steel screen printing mesh for several decades and is here to help you use the best possible mesh specifications. So this video will provide insight into what screen printing is, what stainless steel screen printing mesh is, how to select the right mesh count, and the drawbacks associated with not using the right mesh count. Screen printing is the century old technique where ink gets transferred to a surface to make a specific design. To ensure accuracy, an emulsion gets infused into the mesh screen, forming a stencil that blocks ink from reaching areas outside of the design. Silk was the first preferred screening media, but nylon and stainless steel are the current standard now. And so, for this video, we'll focus on stainless steel mesh. Stainless steel wire mesh is several individual stainless steel wires interlaced together to form a roll or sheet of wire cloth. As mesh is woven, the wire diameter, opening size, uh, mesh count, width, and length are predetermined and completely customizable. But what makes stainless steel stand out among other screening materials? When you're comparing it to other materials, stainless steel wire mesh has several benefits, including tensioning capabilities, durability, cost savings, uh, and ink distribution accuracy. Mesh count is the number of openings within an inch in any direction. So generally, mesh counts ranging from 25 mesh to 305 mesh are perfect when you're screen printing. So no matter what screening material you're using, the mesh count depends on the level of detail of the design. The inks and materials used to fuse the design to the surface also affect mesh count selections. For example, let's say you produce circuit boards for smartphones. Screen printing helps to apply a solder mask, which protects the inner alloys when solder gets applied to the board. The conductive tracks of the circuit board must be exact to prevent shorts or product failure. To ensure the best results, a finer mesh, 160 to 200, uh, would be ideal for that. Now let's say you're, you're screen printing sans serif fonts and shapes onto a ceramic surface. These design elements don't have a lot of detail and are transferable using a 60 to 110 mesh screen. So then you're probably wondering, what are mesh counts 200 and above used for? Well, the fine mesh counts are specifically used for high detailed designs. That said, they should only be used when a minimal amount of ink is needed. When it comes to the use of inks, some inks are thick while water-based inks tend to be thin and runny. Using a mesh count that is too fine, like 160 to 305, a uh, thicker ink won't be able to make its way through the mesh and result in a patch design. But using a mesh count that's not fine enough, like 25 to 110, with a runny water-based ink can allow too much ink to flow, making it hard to set. Also, when you're working on a high detail design, mesh openings that are too large can result in ink bleeding, which loses detail. Now, screen printing for branding purposes sometimes calls for the use of enhancing pigments like glitter. If this is the case, you'll want to make sure you use a mesh count low enough for these pigments to flow through the mesh. And using too fine of a mesh for those applications may cause the mesh to become plugged. This will hinder the paint's ability to adhere to the surface. Well, several factors will affect the price of a screen printing mesh. These factors include the quantity of mesh, fabrication needs, uh, and mesh count. But the mesh count is the biggest cost factor. It's because setting up a weaving loom is a labor-intensive process. And when weaving finer mesh counts, this process can even take several days. Basically, the finer the mesh count, the higher the price. Generally, stainless steel screen printing mesh costs around $3 to $15 per square foot. But with that, you should always use the lowest mesh count possible. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, 
we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.